Hey everybody, it is me, Vincent. Welcome back to Vincent Vision. I'm here in New York City. In today's video, we are checking out the recently opened Harry Potter exhibition here in New York City. Now there is a lot of Harry Potter here in New York, believe it or not. You got the Harry Potter store, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child play, and now this exhibition that just opened up sometime in April. And just to give you guys a little bit of a background, we would consider ourselves to be pretty big Harry Potter fans, and we are pretty big Harry Potter attraction fans as well. This channel is based in Orlando. We live in Orlando, we go to Universal, a lot Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So we're gonna head inside, check this place out, see how it compares to some of the Harry Potter attractions all around the city and over in Florida, and see if this is worth the visit for your next New York trip. So welcome to the latest episode of Vincent Vision. Watch out! So this experience here, we paid about $35 for a ticket. We did the timed entry. You can pick what time you arrive. You come on in up the stairs, and once you check in, you put in your info, you pick your wand, your house, and then you begin the experience. This is a hour to hour and a half walking exhibition that you go through. We are excited and interested to check it out. Ellison is here with me. Let's go see what this is all about. We're here now. I think this is like a museum also with interactive exhibits. So there's going to be props from the movies. We're in a sort of like a, a, a waiting room now. Oh, first edition of Sorcerer's Stone. That is pretty cool. Published in 1998. Wow, I feel like I had one of these. My first edition? Maybe? I don't know. I, I mean, I got a Harry- a lot of money. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Well, in that case, probably not. We do know the spell. Do you yeah. want to do it, Ellison? Oh, it's, you do it. Me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alohomora. Yay! <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Hello, thank you. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. We're going to be using our interactive wristbands to come right over here. Okay. There's my name. There's Ellison's name over there on the Marauders map. I hope they're not like tracking us through the whole castle or anything like that. Oh, 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 that's so cool. Ooh. Oh, this is, they had that painting at Universal. I've seen that. Oh, look. Hello. No, she's just looking at us. I mean, I'm in Gryffindor house, so I was hoping that she would be able to let us in, but this is cool here. See this? Whoa. Oh, this, yeah, this, now we're cooking. This is all the self-guided part of the tour you can go through here. Are you gonna go in the Ravenclaw section, Ellison? Okay, well, I, I guess I'm gonna go check out the Gryffindor section. If I see anything cool, I'll show you. You flag me down. This here is the really impressive part of the exhibition, these are actual costumes worn by the actors in the Harry Potter movies. And it's so funny, you can see the slight differences in people's wardrobe. You know, look at Rupert Grint's, Ron Weasley's robes. They're a little tattered, a little uh, disorganized. Meanwhile, you've got Harry's over here, and then Hermione's right over here. A little shinier, a little cleaner, definitely in better condition. These wristbands are a really, really big deal. There's part of the exhibit, they help with the interactiveness of it. Uh, Ellison said to tap mine in here, and I guess if I do that, that's me. Okay, I love it. Then what happens? We hit done. I just got Gryffindor House, 10 points. That's right. <laughs> I always thought Draco looked super fly. This is like in his Half-Blood Prince, or Deathly Hallows, oh, yeah, when he's wearing like sharp. a turtleneck like this, very sharp. Yeah, let's see what's in here. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, I wish you could like sit there. <laughs> or 
We're heading into potions class over here. Some more interactive exhibits there. I wonder how big this is. It says it takes like an hour to go through. You go, oh, well, you're gonna make a potion here? Hey, 10 points to Gryffindor. Next up is divination. I am looking into my future and it's looking good. <laughs> We're in Herbology now. And well, I'm gonna pull out a Mandrake. And I think that'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we are in defense against the dark arts, and what are we doing here? Trace the symbol to cast your spell. It's a snake. Oh, ah, snake! Ridiculous! That is scarier than a snake to me, in my opinion. <laughs> so, don't know what that was doing. But I got 10 points for Gryffindor, so it's okay. Spider, ridiculous, ridiculous! It's still a spider! <laughs> Ah, oh, okay, it's a silly spider. Yeah, I guess it's sillier. Or it's gonna get to you faster. I never realized he was wearing a wool tie. That's gonna be a little itchy and uncomfortable. Like, look at that, that looks thick. Now we're on the Hogwarts grounds. And it's time to cast a Patronus. You do it. You go first. Ah. Patronus! Oh, Phoenix. I mean, I, I got to pick. It's not like I... <laughs> it didn't assign me a phoenix. I just picked the phoenix. Hey, Ellison, are you ready for the first challenge of the Triwizard Cup? No. You have to get like... this dragon's egg. <laughs> right down there. And it's in a box. Yeah, gigantic. Oh, that caught me by surprise. There is the golden egg. Oh, look. Check it out. Oh, it's Hagrid's hut. It's Hagrid's hut. Let's go inside, see what's what's going on. A lot of really fun photo ops in this exhibit, including being inside Hagrid's hut. And you can even smell like fire and burnt wood. And Ellison, you're sitting in Hagrid's seat. That is so rude, but it looks great on you. And now we're entering the greater wizarding world. Different ways to travel, like a uh, time turner over here. Okay, wait, so help me understand. Time turner, but this is not what it was Hermione's. Was that also a time turner? Yeah. Why is this one bigger? I guess this is from the stage. Maybe hers is different. Oh, this, this is one's from, from Cursed Child. So okay. You gotta okay. Be able to see it from a sure, sure. Okay. Huh. Oh yeah, this is like this is Hermione's time turner here. This is like the actual like where does it lock it? You use this port key, activate the port key. You gotta touch the boot, get ready to travel. I'm thinking Japan. <laughs> That'll be fun. Save us some time, is it gonna go? Hey, I'll take Diagon Alley. Yeah. Ah. Oh, whoa, beautiful snowy hogsmeade. <laughs> We're gonna go use the flu powder to get to the next room. Whoa, and now oh, there's more flu powder over there. This is a fun room. A lot of fun costumes. There's Newt Scamander from Fantastic Beasts and where to find him. Accio us! Ah, we're in the suitcase! <laughs> oh, this is a crazy photo op here. This is Dolores Umbridge's office. Oh, <laughs> very low chair. Luckily, she's not having you write, I must not tell lies. Over and over and over. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Are you getting into the cupboard under the stairs? Can you like stretch out in there? All right. Oh man, someone's gonna actually fall asleep in here one day. There's little stuff here in the closet. Okay. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. A lot of really cool big set pieces here. I don't know if they're all from the films per se, but they are very interesting to see. Like this one is, I am Lord Voldemort, the door to the chamber of secrets. And they got some stuff here too that, you know, could be real, could not be, but very cool to see Tom Riddle's book. There is Lord Voldemort's wardrobe, his long flowy robes. So, this the yeah, the there's the Elder Fire. Wand. That right there is the Sorcerer's Stone. And then, can't you see it? It's the Invisibility Cloak. Duh.
out of there, the exhibit is done. And like all exhibits, especially a lot of the Harry Potter stuff, it ends in a gift shop. A lot of cool merchandise, some exclusive to the exhibition, some not, but some pretty interesting stuff. Nonetheless, like the statue of Lucius Malfoy. They got like these here too, and this is actually kind of cool. Like the Slytherin jacket, and this Ravenclaw, like that shirt's kind of okay. I, I don't dislike it, I don't hate it. I like that emblem. And then a lot of sort of your house merchandise, your Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, a lot of stuff very similar to the stuff that you can find at Universal Studios and most other Harry Potter experiences. Look at that creepy Hedwig. Oh, that is a little creepy. Then he's looking down. She's Louise. And if you were curious, yes, they do sell butterbeer here at the Harry Potter exhibition. All right, and we just got out of the Harry Potter exhibition. Elson, what'd you think? I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was very fun, interactive. It kept you on your toes, like entertained well enough instead of just kind of like a walking exhibit. It found ways to immerse you in the story. I thought it was cool. I liked the museum aspect of it more than I like the interactivity of it. It was a lot of screen stuff. You're we using this all the time. Yeah. Also, we didn't see what happened to the house points. Oh, I don't know, I don't think that. there was a way or anything like that to check or maybe it wasn't working. Um, but it was it was cool. It was a cool experience. We were in there for about an hour. I think $35 for an hour of Harry Potter entertainment is pretty okay. great. Yeah, I, I would say it's worth it in that way. It's not my favorite Harry Potter experience you can have here in New York if you're looking to have that type of experience. You know, I personally think the Harry Potter store near the Flatiron Building is so, so well done. And I can easily spend an hour in that store and not have to pay $35. There aren't any really interactive exhibits over there, but the merchandise is a thousand times better. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and of course, I mean, the ultimate Harry Potter experience here in New York, and if you are visiting, is the play, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. We would a thousand percent recommend it. We saw that last night. Incredible. Magical. Magical. Yeah, seriously. But this is very cool, too. This is a really solid edition, good for families, for sure. Um, and when we went in the middle of the day at like four o'clock, it wasn't super no, busy. there was no one in the room with us for 90% yeah. of it. It was very cool. This is like a soft recommendation. I'm not saying this is something you absolutely have to do when you come here to New York, especially if you're looking for Harry Potter experiences, but this is something we booked maybe like an hour before yeah. on a whim and we enjoyed it. We found it very easy to do. If you're looking for something to do while you're here in New York, but not like a main part of your trip, yeah. would check out the Harry Potter exhibition. But apart from that, we are gonna get on out of here. Thank you guys for watching Vincent Vision. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you at the next one. Bye-bye. Wow.